Hi everybody, BT here with FXLiveDayTrading.com. Today I just wanted to uh, do a recap on a Euro dollar trade that we took in the uh, trading room this morning. And uh, this trade was taken right around that um, uh, conference, the press conference that was at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Before I begin, I just wanted to mention that the uh, European Central Bank, the ECB, did say today that the economic surveys and indicators did show signs of stabilization. All right, so that led traders to suggest an improved picture later in the year. Now, this did catch some traders off guard, uh, many of them who were probably waiting on this massive head and shoulders to follow through as you can see if we looked on the daily chart we'll see the left shoulder and we'll see the right shoulder that was forming and most likely you had um, part of this short squeeze that occurred today was many of these traders just uh, getting ready for the big move to the downside needless to say it did not happen so what we had was some unexpected news um, although many of the analysts um, did not expect a cut in the interest rates I think it was about 75 percent uh, needless to say um, there was some very positive comments made by uh, the ECB president Mario Draghi that I think were a bit unexpected as a result did cause this euro dollar to move up today um, it was also a technical setup now I'm gonna get to that as well you see this trend line over here um, on the daily but what I'm gonna do is just jump to the 15 and just recap our trade alright recap our trade so Here's a 15-minute chart, and right now I am doing this at 4.35 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Most of my recaps are done after the stock market closes at 4 p.m. EST. So, this trade was taken at 1.309 on our trading zone, which is in blue, and basically this is the no trade zone, you know. Um, that's what I call it at least it's the blue zone and as long as the euro was in this zone I was not going to be trading with this zone strategy what we had here was a retouch and then during the um, ECB press conference a little move down which I went ahead and I did take the long position in anticipation of a move higher so we were set up in several of the indicators that we acknowledge in the Forex trading room in the US session. Now, the break of the 131.24 to 28-ish was the very important overhead resistance, and we broke right through that. In fact, we did not even come back down. <clears throat> okay, sometimes when you break through a major level, as many of you may know, there is usually a little move back down to that level. All right. So <clears throat> the plan here was a break of the 131.25 to 131.28 would be a confirmation to take that trade to at least 131.70, 131.60. So this was a scalp trade. Okay. <clears throat> the move did come higher, and um, what I did was I took an exit at 131.70 for a plus 60 pip trade and many of the uh, the members also did like this trade as well and um, many of them did take it now I want to mention that if we came back down to touch this level this 3166 and then we started to look bullish my plan was to take a second trade and then go ahead and move the stop down to this below this level all right, which would be about uh, 13112 on the second trade, but that did not happen. So uh, the bottom line is, <clears throat> I ended up with one trade, and I was happy to take that trade because it was part of the trading plan. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm not going to be greedy today. Took the 60 pips. It was a nice day. Um, Euro did continue higher. However, we also were position long a trade, and I'm position long. Um, on the euro in general and I'll go I'll do another video on that it's more of a fundamental trade I don't want to 
um, you know, extend this video beyond the five minute mark. So, at any rate, recap Euro USD trade today. If you'd like more information, check out FX Live Day Trading.com. Have a good day.